Neil McAvoy, Propel Councillor. Uh, I'm on the little green patch at the nursery at Mill Park, just across in Birdies Lane. And if you read the caption, I'm looking for the identity. I'm looking for an individual. Uh, tall, three dogs, walks them in this area, I'm told, every day, usually between eight and nine. Anyway, this morning, it was, it was after, it was around 10 o'clock, I'm told, kids were in this place, space playing, okay? And whoever it was, wanted, wanted to use this space for his dogs, okay? Even though it says over there, no dogs allowed, which is ignored by, by um, many people here. I'm not, I'm not having to go with all dog owners, just the irresponsible ones. So this, this, this individual today, um, effectively, I'm told, threatened nursery staff, so you've got kids playing here, okay, ages two and three years of age. The individual threatened the nursery staff that if, he, if they didn't get the kids in that building immediately, okay, he would let the dogs on the, on the loose. And if they bit the children, attacked the children, hurt the children, so what? Okay, I mean, technically, technically, I've, I've emailed the, the police because I, I think that's possibly common assault because there's a threat of what would have been unlawful force through, through the dogs, by proxy, on children. So whoever it is, I hope you're very proud of yourself. Lots of people in Ely and, and Fairwater view these videos. So you could, somebody out there will know who it is. Please inbox me, please let me know, because I'd like to have a word with you. I'd like to let you know how much you upset the children today in that nursery, with staff running around in a panic to get them all inside quick, two or three years of age, so you could use your dogs, or so you could use this area as a, as a toilet for your dogs. I want to let you know how much you upset those children today, and how much you upset the young women who were here looking after the children. Completely unacceptable behaviour. So the only description I've got is he's tall, white hair, and had three dogs. Now somebody in this area will know exactly who I'm talking about, and I'd really like to know who it is. I want to have a word with you, mate. Okay? And I want the police to have a word with you. Completely unacceptable. If there are children out using this space and you want to walk your dog, I tell you what, take them over the field by Birdie's Lane. Yeah? Go somewhere else. And even though it says no dogs allowed on this piece of space here, um, too many people use it as a toilet for the dogs and they're not picking up after them. Okay? So you've got children using this space. I'm told now there needs to be a risk assessment because clearly that's dangerous. So a, a child falls on the floor, hand goes in, in, in mess, in the eyes, in the mouth. Yeah, it doesn't take a genius to work it out. So uh, if you can share this video, I would appreciate it because it just so happens my son was in the nursery today. Okay, so he was one of the little boys affected by very, very irresponsible, selfish, nasty, aggressive behavior from whoever it was wanted to walk his three dogs okay because your priorities mate came above all those children today didn't it didn't it yeah i hope you have a good think about how you behaved and you should come here and apologize to staff for the way you treated them and you should apologize to children as well okay the general state general state of this site is an absolute disgrace i would like to thank councillor burke uh, at the outset here today because she was quite concerned yesterday in the meeting when i brought things up and she said she would look at matters, okay? So a bit of a shout out there. I hope she's as good as a word. And if she does act and do something here, then I'll be very grateful. And she'll win not only my respect, but the respect of um, many other people here today, be, here in this area, really, who, who, whose children go to this nursery, because the, the Ely councillors are of no use whatsoever. No use, no support. Don't do anything for the, for the kids here. And um, time and time again, on roughly 25% of the vote, people re-elect Labour councillors in Ely. Um, I think we can change that in the future with Propel. We're doing well, we're growing, and I'm going for sort of, sort of, go sort of party political there, but when, when it comes down to really basic stuff, like looking after community, looking after this, this space, making sure at least there's something for the children to play, it comes down to who you elect to your local council. And sadly in this area, the Labour councillors just, don't, just do not care. They do not care, and it's more important for people to come on here, use it as a dog's toilet, than to look after the children in the nursery, just literally 10 metres over there. So, I've um, got nothing more to say now, other than I'd be really pleased if somebody could inbox me and let me know who the individual was and is, because I want a word with you.
okay? And I understand the police will want a word with you as well because threatening the use of force by proxy, okay, as you did today, threatening to let your dogs on or loose and if they bite a child, so what, okay? That was the Im implication. That's not lawful. It is not lawful and you cannot get away with that kind of behaviour. Okay, share this, let me know who it is, and uh, ideally the man will apologise and not do it again. Um, who knows, maybe some other parents will be here one, one morning next week and they may want to have a chat with you, I don't know. Ideally a PCSO will do first of all, or a police officer, um, because it's just unacceptable behaviour, unacceptable, okay?